When I need to add different line types to my drawing, I use the Line Type Manager. One way that I can access the Line Type Manager is in Format under Line Type. Here you can see all of the line types that are currently loaded in your drawing. We have a wide variety of line types available, but they aren't all created in your drawing at the time that you start your drawing. A drawing starting from scratch only has continuous lines because we don't want to take up space in the drawing uh, with line types that you don't need, so you can add them. Also in the Line Type Manager you have a Show Details box. This has the global scale factor and the current scale, object scale, that's being used. So uh, lines that have speci a specific pattern, uh, such as hidden lines that are dash lines, the amount of space in between the dashes has to do with the scale. We'll look at how we can manage that. Now in assigning line types, Generally, I do this by layers. Here's a drawing that shows an orthographic view of a mechanical part. I have a front view, a top view, and a right side view in standard orthographic fashion. In the top view, I have holes that are represented by circles, and in the front view, those holes need to be represented with hidden lines and should be uh, marked with center lines. I need to create layers for those hidden lines. I'm going to activate my layer property manager. I'm going to create a new layer which I will call hidden. I'm going to select first of all the color and I'll use blue so that I can easily tell the light layer that the lines are on for a dark blue. For the line type when I click on it I can select my line type. Now I don't have any other line types in here so that I need to load a line type Looking down, I have a variety of uh, line types that meet ISO and ANSI standards. I'm looking for hidden lines, and here I have hidden, I have a hidden half size, and I have a hidden times two. These lines are drawn to different scales. Now when I come back to my select line type box, I have to select hidden in order to assign it to the layer that I'm currently working on. And now these are hidden lines. My line weight, I'm going to accept default. Coming back to my drawing, I'm now going to project these hidden lines into the front view. To do that, I'm going to choose my hidden line layer. And now any lines that I draw on this layer will have the, the uh, properties of the hidden line. Using object snap tracking, I'm going to track down to the intersection and show those hidden lines in that view. Now in looking at these hidden lines I can see that I'm only seeing two, one break in the line and I would like to see at least three. To manage the scale of my line types, I'm going to go to Format and I'm going to choose Line Type off the, the uh, menu browser. Under the Show Details, I have my Global Scale Factor. If I put in a value less than 1, if I have a line like a hidden line with breaks in it, uh, those are going to become closer together, the breaks. If I put in a value larger than 1, then my breaks are going to become further apart. So if I need to make it smaller, I enter a value less than 1 and say OK, and now it's applied. So now I see two breaks in the line, which looks better for my hidden lines. So I can go ahead and project my hidden line for the other side of the hole. Now, to represent this as a, as a circular hole, I need a center line that runs down the middle. I could create the layer and load the center line in the process of creating the layer, or another way that I can load um, that line type into my drawing is to use the line type manager. I have an option up here to load a line. 
In this case, we want to load a center line. I'm going to click on a regular center line. And because this is set as a global scale factor of 0.5, all of the lines will be affected by that scale factor. Okay, that line is loaded. Again, I still want to manage my lines through my layer uh, property box, so I'm going to open that, create a new layer. Uh, this is going to be called a center. It picked up the properties from my hidden line, so it has the same. I'm going to change its color to magenta. And for its line type, we're going to choose center off of our list. Because we use the line type manager to load it, it's already available and ready to put into our drawing. I'll accept the default line weight. We say OK. And so now I will get a line command and project from the center of this hole and what happened? I have another center line because I forgot to change layers. So I'll just click on that and change this layer to center. Now it looks like a continuous line but a characteristic of a center line is it should extend above and below the object. I'm still not getting a break. I'll stretch it until I get a break. But I want to stretch it evenly so that the break points in the middle. And so I've created a representation of that hole. Now in your orthographic drawing an easy way to use that again is to use my copy command. So I could say copy all of the information with the base point at this intersection. Come over to this side and I want to project that from the center down to this intersection. And I put that in. And I want to copy it to the midpoint. So I'll turn on midpoint to the midpoint of this view. And now I've produced all of the whole views showing my hidden lines and my center lines.